I am sick of these YouTubers spending 20 to 30 minutes to try to tell you how to stream on YouTube. So I'm going to teach you and how to do it in just five minutes. First, what you want to do is go on streamlabs.com and download streamlabs. Let it install. Once you've got the program, click the settings icon, click login and connect to your streaming platform. For our sake, it's YouTube. Sign into your Google account. We've got our blank slate. Click the plus icon. The first thing that we want is our PC and we're going to name this PC. Oh, look at that. We got Fortnite. The next thing you want to do is add your webcam. So click video capture device and name this webcam. Oh, hey, there I am. If you click configure video, you can zoom. Once you've got your webcam on screen, drag it down and resize it. If you want to cut the sides in, all you have to do is hold the alt button. Very good. You can't stream without a microphone. So let's go to audio input capture and call this mic. Well done. We have our first source completed. We now have our webcam, microphone and PC. Now, because you're streaming, you probably want some widgets. If you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of widgets here. One of the most important ones are chat box, which is where you see your live stream viewers typing in real time. If the box is too big, just change the width and the height. Once you're finished, click done and resize it to your liking. This is totally up to you, but I like to put in a viewer counter just to see how many people are in the stream. If you want the donation set up, all you have to do is add an alert box. I think we're ready to get into the nitty gritty. Go back into settings and the first thing you should do is click on appearance and change it to night. Easier on the eyes. I usually disable notifications. If you want to stream in 1080p 60fps, copy this screen. But if you want to change it to 720p 60fps, all you have to do is change the output scaled resolution to 1280 by 720 The next tab is the output tab. Make sure you're on streaming, not recording. I've done that way too many times. I'm going to keep this real simple. Software X264 is your CPU. Hardware NVENC new is your graphics processing unit. If you have the option, just click it. RAID control, I want you to click CBR. That's all you need to know. If you go to YouTube Live Encoder Settings, since I'm streaming in 1080p 60fps, I have between 4,500 and 9,000 kilobits per second. So I like to do 7,000, happy medium. Now I know what you're saying. What bitrate do I use? Go to speedtest.net. Test your internet connection. I have an upload speed of 19.5 megabyte. After that, bring out your calculator. If you want to convert megabytes to kilobytes, all you have to do is just add a zero on the end. It's highly recommended that you use maximum of 70% of your upload speed. That number we just got, multiply it by 0.7. 13.6 megabytes. I think we're good. After you've put in your bitrate, just copy everything else. We finally made our first scene. Let's name it. Simply right click and rename. We're going to call this game. But one scene's not good enough, we have to do two. Let's go ahead and add a new scene and call it Close and Personal, like it is right now. What we're going to do is go back to the scene game, copy everything, and paste it back over. To fix your webcam, simply click Alt and drag them out once again. If you want to fit it to the screen of your scene, just right click, go to Transform, Fit to Screen, voila. Let's go ahead and go to YouTube and click Go Live. Click Edit and do all your settings. This is where you do your live stream thumbnail, description, tags, etc, etc. You can even monetize your streams if you like. Stream latency is self-explanatory if you just sit down and read it. Just stick to low latency. The last step to go live is to look at this stream key. What you want to do is just simply click copy, go over to your Streamlabs, go under the tab stream, and click stream to custom ingest. Leave everything as it is, but simply paste the stream key and click done. Amazing, we can stream. <laughs> the final step is to simply click go live on Streamlabs. Go straight over to YouTube and you'll see that you are live. Once you're ready to end the stream, simply click end stream. Hope you learned something, have fun.